and lay it on my channel. It's no mistake. Do not skip. Hear me out. I just want to let you know that you can take an image from paper to fabric. You want to know how? Without using any software? Well, let me show you. We're going to take this image, the same image as my daughter. I'm just increasing. I'm just redoing the video so it can be even better. Now, as you can see, I got it written on here how many stitches it is. Uh, how, what the size of it is, etc. But you can only achieve this by using the brother of Baby Lock model machines. The ones that have a design center on it, those are the ones that can achieve this without using any software. You have the Brother Dream Machine, the Brother Dream Machine 2, you have the Brother Stellaire, Luminaire, it doesn't matter, 1, 2, 3, uh, the PR. 1050X, PR 1055X, and the PR models are the multi needle machines. They all have all the bells and whistles, and they all have the camera, scanner, and di automatic digitizer, or you can digitize it yourself using the machines, besides all the other bells and whistles that these models have. And the other uh, beta lock models they can do it too, but it, it does, it's not called Design Center. I think it's called a Q Center. I, I'm so sorry. I'm not familiar with it. I'm going to do more, do some homework. But let's get straight into the video. We're going to scan this image. And what I love about the machines are that you can do it. You can accomplish this in more than one way. You, we can use the scan board, which I do have attached to the machine that came with the Dream Machine. Or... <clears throat> you can use an SD card, which is also installed on the machine. You can use, of course, the this USB stick. You can use Brother. It doesn't have to be Brother. It can be Walmart, Amazon, um, Office Depot, whoever sells USB uh, plugs. And also, you see a cord that's connected to my machine. And the other is connected to the computer. Well, I don't have it connected now, but you can connect it to the computer and you can scan it in that way. Now the the um the formats that the machine reads on on it on the machine is a JPEG, PNG, SVG, and it's another one. I can't remember. I think that's it. JPEG, PNG, and SVG. But those, I know at least the three types of formats this machine reads. It's gonna, it's got a built-in camera, so it's gonna take an image in it. It's gonna scan it in the machine. It's gonna take a few passes, and then bam, it's on, it's on your, it sends it to, the, to this giant built-in iPad. That's what I call it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to attach my board. Here, see so this, get a better view. Fold this down. You can put, have the mag magnets attach. Make sure we get the corners. I'm going to hit the machine here. We'll press the home and I'm going to press design center okay and on this screen it has this picture right here we're not going to use that picture I always use this one right here the line that's what we're going to learn today I'm not dealing with this right now, so I'm not going to explain it. I only have a few minutes here. And we're going to select the line. Now, it says it's got a picture of the board, and it has your image. We'll just, you know, let you know to have your picture facing up on the board. And you're going to press scan. 
since we're using the board. Now, if we was using the USB that I have plugged in on the side here, we would use this image for the USB, or if we were going to select an image from the computer, we want to scan, we'll do that, or the SD card that's on this machine. But for today, for this video, we're going to use this board. We're going to press scan. And it says the frame will move to be scanned with the built-in camera. We're going to press okay and then the machine is going to scan and it's taking the image and on this large board it takes about four passes it needs to be a clear clean image this is a drawing of my daughter and I just use the marker to make the lines thicker because, you know, with the drawing, um, the lines can be thin, and we don't want that. You need to have thick, clean lines if you use a drawing. That's why a coloring book is great, because it has the thick lines. The SVG, it is really clean, clear lines like, like this drawing is. Okay, now he's doing his magic here on the screen. Now, let me, I didn't explain this in the last video, but this, this is the most important part of it. Whatever size you scan your image, that is the size of the image that you're going to do. Now, this says over here in the corner, it says 11, 81 inches, because I got it in inches right here in the corner, by 8.66 inches wide. So I would need, um, and that's just showing it because of the magnets. So, but I'm going to crop it down because my largest hoop is eight. So we need it, we need something that's, that's smaller than that. Even though I got an eight by 14, eight by 12. Yes, that's my largest. So let me put this here so I can crop it. And I'm just gonna crop these magnets out. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta use these arrows. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do this bottom. Okay, now it's going to fit into my hoop because I have 10.97 inches, which is almost 11 inches, and 7.29 inches, which is perfect. That will fit inside my 8 by 12 hoop. Okay, we're not, we're not going to touch any of these right now. That's just the lock screen. Uh, you know, when you step away from the machine, you press the lock so that way when somebody touches it, it won't, it won't do anything. And of course, your home key. So I'm going to press OK. Right here is just a grayscale. Now when you do the grayscale, I try to do it on the second. This is a really good, clear image. So um, I wouldn't need to do it any further than that. And that's just telling me my line is going to be a zigzag line or a satin line. I'm going to press OK. And then this shows me what is what it came up with when it did it. And that's just my writing I have on there. We're going to erase that. We're going to press Set at the bottom here. And now, this is what the computer, uh, my machine, sees. Over, you have two images, one over here in the right corner and one over here that is the huge in the bottom. This is the part that you're going to write on and then up here in the right corner is letting you know what it's going to stitch out as well, but you have control. You have the 100%, 200%.
three, I'm sorry, two, four, and then eight. And mine goes up to eight because I do have the uh, the first upgrade uh, on the machine. I think it has either two or three um, that you can purchase for an upgrade on your machine. But I can zoom in to 800% and I can get inside these, these little corners that I, you know, that I, that I need to. Okay. Now, of course, we have the pencil, which is your line. The coffee pot, if you want to cover multiple lines. If I want to change this to a different color, of course, we go into the sheet of paper. And then you have all your colors right there. And then you have your type, your type of stitches that you would have. You have the zig, zigzag, the double, the um, the double, and then you have the triple stitch, or the bean stitches they call it, and also the, the decorative stitches right here. Uh, I normally use this one to open circle, so that way I have control. Uh, this one it automatically closes the line. Uh, let, let me show you. I'm going to select it and press OK. put this down for a second. I'm sorry. Now, if I was to try to draw a circle here, see it has a red line right there and then it automatically closes it up. If I draw, you go press the back button down here at the bottom. If I was to do a square, let's say I do a rectangle. Oh, that ain't good. And then come back over. It'll automatically close that off for me. I don't have to complete it. If I try to do a triangle, and then it, it completes that, that for me. So I'm press the back button. Then go back to the sheet of paper that's on my pencil. And of course, this is this is the even straight line. I'm sorry. This is the even straight line right here. So I need to close something off and I need a straight line instead of me trying to hand draw it. That would be a really good option. Let me press OK. So now I can draw a straight, perfect line. The straight, perfect line. You can't, you can't get it wrong. If you need to draw a straight, perfect line, uh, then that is your tool that you would use. Okay, and I'm going to just press the OK. Okay, let's go back to the paper on the, on the line part. And I am going to go back up here to the open where I can have control of it. Okay, press OK. This is the inside, the circle part of it. And you have your paintbrush in your paint bucket, or I call it a coffee pot. You have your dropper right here. I'll get to that another time. Your sheet of paper. Okay, and this is the size of your paintbrush. It can be a square, and that's a small, medium, large, or the circle, small, medium, and large. Okay, and you have your no so But I'm gonna leave it on the field stitch we also have the uh, stippling stitch. Go into that a little bit. I'm going to press OK. If I want to color in her eye here, and I'm going to be just creative here. And I'm going, we got red selected. It already has the stipple. I would use this paintbrush, I mean this, this paint bucket, so I can splash that on there all at one time. And see, everything is in stippling. And you can change the settings of your stippling. That's in another video. But I'm going to go back to the, the fill part. And I can also have, this is my upgrade. And I just love these stitches. Yay, Panda! So I select this. And I have decorative fills that I have right here. I love putting these when I do a quilt. Uh... Um, block and I can add these in the background which they have the stamp feature where it will color all around my image with just a couple of clicks of a button so let me press ok 
And I'm going to show you an example of that. Now this is Rhonda right here, my daughter, the same image, and here it is, see the, the, the leaves, I think I did the one with the, the leaves and the cross, yes, with the flowers, uh, and so I love that, so it, it stitched that all the way around her image, and that was the stamp feature. That's why I wanted that upgrade because they did have that stamp feature. And so I can, I can do quilt blocks and have um, that sewn all the way around my image. I have another example really quickly. This is my other G-Baby. She loves purple, so that's why I did her image in purple, and I will show it on the table, and it's got the little bubbles in the background. I'll let you see through it. Okay, I'll turn this light on. And she got the little bubbles in the background, so that's what I got. I got to clean her up. Got to get the loose stitches and stuff off. is my other G baby and I use also I call it the bubbles or balls whatever you want to call it but she is a hot mess both of them are hot mess but it's glow in the dark thread so that's the color thread that I use I sh okay but you can do all kinds of things with that oh and also on her uh, on her bow I use uh, that as well. Can you see her bow? Her bow has decorative stitches in it. Uh, this is it kind of reminds me of puzzle pieces, so that's why I had selected it, selected that one. So, but yeah, you can really see it now, the puzzle piece, and you can see the the bubbles in the background. So I just love it. I can make a pillow if I want to, or it, I mean, it is unlimitless. It is limitless. The sky's the limit. It does anything that you want that you can think or ask for or dream of. So, but let's get back to this video. I'm sorry. You press OK. All right. Now, now oh, oh, yeah, this is a good example. Okay, of the no so. Now, say, like you said, oh my God, I, I, I want to change this. Or I, I want to erase this. I mean, you can use an eraser. You can use, of course, the back button if you need to. You can do that. But also, you can click on the sheet of paper. You press this right here, the no so. That's right, because you got your fill stitch right there. So you press the one down here with the red line going through it. And then press OK. And then if I touch this with my coffee pot, I'm sorry, the paint bucket, it takes that away. You know, and so and that is another good thing. I'm telling you, I have, it took me a minute because like if, if I was to press and go back to the sheet of paper on the inside if I was to color say I want it white like I was doing the, the white part of the eyeballs this this is what I mean it's kind of hard to see that it's kind of hard to see once you've been sitting at this machine so long it's kind of hard to see that and if it say like you have a broken line right here, because because these lines have to be connected all the way for it to feel. But if this spills out and you don't catch that, then you would have that white part. Let's go back out. You'll have that white part all outside here, and it'll spill out, 
if then you're trying to figure out why you have a sad face and the machine is crying, saying you need a you know need to attach a larger hoop. So I rarely I don't use the white. I t I always use yellow for my white. Okay, uh, let me fix my camera here. I should have. I'm sorry. I apologize, y'all. Trying to screw this back together. In here is an egg right. Okay, there we go. Oh, we up high. All right, so always remember whatever size your skin, that's the size of your image. If you try to, um, because right here, um, on this part right here, more to the left with the faded circle, the faded green. Let me take it up closer so you can see. You have this faded green circle. Your image, you can see the original. See, I touched the white. See, it went white all around there. Just from experience, I realized that. But see, you can't even tell. But I know. <laughs> Let me take that white off of there. I'm just going to put something on there. That's okay. So that go. Okay. Now. This right here in the corner, this is for the original image. The more you go to the left, the more of the original image that will show up. If you take it to the right, it shows, oh Lord, what did I do? Oh, I touched it, the black touched it. It's so easy. So you take this arrow over here with the darker green circle. Oh, I keep touching the screen. I keep touching the screen. Okay, the more you come over this, this is what the machine sees, and this is what it will stitch out. But it's just like I'm, um, you're tracing over it. So this over here on the left side, I normally when I do it, I'm doing the, the, the second line because so, I can still see what I write, but also see the image. Now, as far as uh, holding, the, I try to hold my hand on the machine like this. We come out so you can see. So I try to hold my hand. I'm standing up, y'all. I apologize. Let me turn some light on. I not see nothing. Let me turn that light off the machine. So, yeah. I need to give me a lamp. <laughs> Trying not to blind y'all. Okay. So when you're doing this, I'm pulling that made up. Nope. But anyway, when you're doing this, I'm normally at 400% because I can really see it better. And you have this red box over here in the corner. And when you move that box around, like I'm trying to get to this eye over here, I try to move it close to here, and I hold my hand. Let me get my hand right here. And I try to hold my hand on the machine and over here like this. And that is how I, I do it. I always try to keep my hand steady, hold it on the machine, let me get it, y'all. Uh-oh, no, no, no. We don't want to exit. We press cancel. And I tried to hold it on the machine, have my wrist resting on there, so that way my hand can be steady and as I do it. Um, also, these down here at the bottom, where you have the pocket, you have the red pocket, is you're going to save it, that's down here at the bottom. And you have the blue pocket. The blue pocket is when you click on this and you're trying to get to an image that's, that's saved on the machine. That's where you're going to retrieve a picture from your machine or from the, uh, the, the USB stick. 
<clears throat> so that's what these red and blue pockets are for. And of course, the all clear is going to clear your screen completely out, and then you have to cancel. And when you press the next, that's where the stitches are. Let me see if I can try to clean this up pretty quick. Um, we got about five minutes here. Actually, I won't have time. Um, so, let's just do a recap. You scan your image into the machine the size that you would like. On your first page, when you scan it in, you crop in your magnets and you see the size of your picture is in the right hand corner. If it's too small, uh, when the image come on, come in, you can tell because you won't be able to um, zoom it in that quick. If you do it, if you're sizing it <coughs> for pixels, um, is remember it's about 100 inches per one. Sorry, 100 pixels per square inch. So I would do like 425. Because it's going to shrink it down when you come back and when you send it off to the design center. I mean to uh, to stitches over to the other program. And the regular part of the computer, oh, I'm sorry, of the sewing machine, the embroidery machine. I'm going to get it right, y'all. When you send it over to the embroidery side, it will sh it will show you the stitches. <clears throat> I forgot my train of thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I wouldn't go any smaller than a 4x4. Four four. If you're doing an image, I wouldn't do any smaller than a 4x4 four four, uh, frame. You can do a five by seven, but whatever size that you scan is the size of your design. Also use an inkjet printer. You do not have to use the glossy, flossy paper. You can use regular printer paper. You don't have to use uh, this kind of shiny paper. You don't have to use that. You can use regular printer paper. I think I got this one printed out because my printer wasn't doing too good. And I got this one printed out at um, one of those places, I think Home Depot somewhere where, you know, they have the printing services. And I asked for an inkjet printer. And I had, this was a selfie that she had did. And I just stitched out her face. Um, this is one that I did in my printer. Wasn't doing too good on that one, I don't think. Actually, it did do pretty good. And plus, I, I know her. That's my daughter, the same. The same daughter. She takes beautiful pictures. Uh-oh. I'm about to lose my camera, y'all. Then Hold on. I'm sorry. Woo! I should have got that. Let me switch this off to the iPad. You know what? I don't need, to need that anymore. Okay. So, this is a mess-up picture that I did of my daughter. I can tell on the stitches uh, how it's not filling in around the neck and how I got missing spots uh, on her nail, but I did redo it and it's better. From this image right here. Let me move y'all over here to the table right quick. We got about two minutes. Okay, come on, uh, fine. We don't want to act right. All right. So, that's my son in the background over there. I got to fix this picture. I'm not showing him right now. So, that's those two pictures right there. And I got to, uh, I fixed her picture. This was a, a trial that I tried doing, but that is her image right there um also you saw this one that's my g baby this is my other g baby and i have to show you show y'all the uh the original with the stamp feature if you have the upgrade but the Stellaire and the Luminaire have these already built in. And also, uh, the 10 needles, the PR 1050 and 1055X Brother Machines. Okay, this is the stitch out image of my daughter right here. And this is also with the stamp feature. 
with some with a pop of color. I'll just play it. You know, I had threads. You know, you had a, those threads in the corner that uh, that you're not using. <laughs> so, so this is just some examples. I have this right here, and this him right there. And that's my daughter again. It's just in green thread. This is one of my church members. She passed. She was a lovely, sweet lady. Uh, that's me. Another image of him. Oh, this is this is really old. <laughs> that is her image right there. That was before I got better. You know, you just have to keep trying, keep, you know, play around with it. But you, you'll learn and you'll grow. So that's her right there. And that's my uh, G-Baby before I got good. <laughs> so Snaggle Teeth, I love the picture. <laughs> but anyway, I have to go. Uh, I've also done this image. And I've also done my friend, my best friend in the world. And I've also done my other uh, daughter right here. But it, it, as you can see, anything is possible. Anything is possible with the Brother Dream Machine and select uh, Baby Lock models. They have the IQ Center. I think that's what it's called on Brother Baby. On Brother, I'm sorry. On baby lock models and on the brother machine you have the design center so don't limit yourself these machines can do way more than what we're using them for I mean it's just like buying a thousand dollar cell phone and all you're doing is just calling and texting and it can do way much more than what we than what we do on our phones so we limit ourselves when we don't explore so what I did, uh, my first thing I did, I read my book. I watched videos left and right. Whoever had the dream machine, I had it. I had the video. By the time I got the machine, I already knew how to operate it because I had been studying machine. So um, I just want to thank y'all. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, I appreciate it that you know my video can get out and other people can learn and we can grow together and teach each other things as well and I thank you so much for watching my video y'all have a great evening or great morning and enjoy please like share subscribe comment goodbye